From the I formation, it's an option look. Golson, late pitch to Cook, who's got the edge. Dalvin picks off and running. Hamstring looks just fine. Touchdown, Florida State, 72 yards. I learned a lot. Plenty of room for Dalvin Cook. There he goes into the secondary, and he's got another gear. Dalvin Cook. Breaking tackles to the pylon. You notice with those cuts and with those moves, there was no change in speed. You're not having to slow down to make his cut like the elite kick and punt returners making those moves at full speed. That's 74 yards. Dalvin Cook turns the corner. Inside the 40. Breaking tackles. There he goes. Dalvin Cook to the pylon. See that you've got a flat pass flow, aggressive defense, and you show that zone one way, and you hand back and allow Cook to be the difference. Second down handoff to Cook, who breaks free, tremendous speed, cuts it back, and is gone. We've watched these guys play before. With the flip of a switch, it happens like that. First carry for Cook, and he breaks free. Dalvin Cook, 94 yards. Touchdown. All right, you'll see, we talked about Florida State getting back their identity. Inside zone, a great kick out blocked by their fullback, number 23, and Dalvin Cook taking it to the house. No one's going to catch him. Florida State up early here at Wake Forest. Jimbo Fisher talked about how strong he is. He's a weight room guy, he's got great balance, and he's also, like I said, one of the fastest guys on the field. New set of downs. McGuire trips but gets it to Dalvin Cook still on his feet. Dalvin Cook inside the 10. Dalvin Cook touchdown, Florida State, 30 yards. State dubbed him the most explosive player in college football, and you see why. They like the ball in number four's hands.